Hey guys, and welcome back to another Echoey Room and another episode of the Catcast. Today we are starting the build your own studio project, whatever you're going to call it. This room is now like the echoeyest room in the whole house because basically if I show you what's happened since you were last here, all we've now got is just plastered walls. Now, if you're building your own studio at home for YouTube or whatever, you don't necessarily need to have your walls plastered. You might find that yours are already fine, but for me, the walls that I already had weren't great. Um, so I kind of wanted to make sure that we sorted them out and made them all flush. The root, the, the ceiling was all really bad as well, so that's now drying. Um, and today is the first kind of day that I can really show you anything because the carpets are going in today. So yes, I know carpet before painting, we just basically ran out of time. We are going with a sound uh, insulation layer underneath the underlay in this room. The whole house, wherever there's gonna be carpet, is gonna have a normal underlay, which is about 11 millimeters thick. Um, so it's sort of a nice padding with the same carpet throughout, because it was cheaper to use the same carpet throughout the whole house. But here, uh, in the studio room, we have an extra layer. This is acoustic gold. It's actually the stuff that you use under um, wood and laminate flooring to kind of take impact and also give you a bit of a sound barrier. But saying this is a studio, that is going directly underneath the underlay. So it's acoustic barrier, underlay and carpet to kind of give you as much as you possibly can. Now that the walls are kind of done, you can kind of see what the plan is. I've kind of been thinking about this and basically I think we're gonna have um, acoustic foam on here and acoustic foam on here and then green screen on here, and then maybe on there as well, I'm not sure. Um, and then on this wall, I'm gonna have a very, very, like an oversized curtain for that window, just because when I'm gonna be talking, it's gonna be going this way. Um, and that's obviously gonna be difficult uh, because that's the main place that the echo is gonna be coming from. So like a nice big kind of curtain all the way across, or not all the way across, but most of the way across. Uh, and then some room for like pictures either side or whatever. Uh, I think that's kind of like gonna be a good setup. So that's like the plan at the moment. The rest of the house is like crazy busy, but I'll show you guys briefly what's going on. Um, this is mainly gonna be now going into a, a studio vlog, but the same things happened in here. Just plastering. It's all kind of nice. That's the old wall. That's obviously the sort of thing that's gonna get changed. This is the new wall. Um, any of the old sort of stuff that's cracking or anything they put in like these kind of reinforcement things, which is good. That kind of helps the plaster along. We've got a cable up going up to the uh, attic because there's also now a hole just here, which is for, uh, it's called like a positive airflow vent. And it basically means that air is gonna be pushed uh, through the house from the attic, which is just try to help with any damp and condensation issues that we might have, because it being an old, well-insulated house um, can get quite a lot of condensation. So the plan is to try to sort of push warm air down into the house and bring in fresh air from the outside to help with the condensation. Um, the bathroom is an absolute state. And then the same thing's going on in the guest room. This is the underlay that we've got. Oh yeah, cozy. Uh, and then downstairs is still an absolute mess because we're still working on uh, taking off the wallpaper because it's taking absolutely forever. Um, but you can see we've done a lot, but it's still like, so it's been taken off here, as you can see, but then it's still here, but it's all off of that wall as well, which is really nice. So we are getting there, uh, but that's pretty much it. So the first kind of studio stuff is going in today, sound insulation, to try to make sure that the room has a good foundation and also stop sound from going downstairs as well, because this is an upstairs studio. Uh, and then we're gonna sort of move on 
and carry on with the rest of the build. So uh, yeah, kind of a small update, but I'm just trying to make sure that I bring you guys these updates with the studio build. So that, because I know everyone was asking like, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna do the studio? What are you gonna put in to make sure it's like soundproofed and organized? So consider these videos as just like little chances, little snippets of anything that I think is useful for you guys to see what we're doing in the whole process of, of sorting out the studio. Um, and also cost as well, to kind of like give you guys an idea, um, to get this extra, <laughs> there it is, extra sound insulation for the entirety of this room was only about 50 quid. So seeing as we're putting new carpets in anyway, it made sense just to spend the extra 50, 50 quid, get it down, and then that's kind of like a good foundation for acoustic uh, shielding going forward because um, it's supposed to just be sound dampening as well as kind of like sound insulation. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll show you the next video next time when there's something more to update you with. See you later. Okay, in case you can't tell, I am extremely hot and extremely sweaty, but uh, all the wallpaper pretty much is now done. So a little quick house update. I know you guys have been asking for, for house as well as the studio. So although this is now a studio vlog, I'll just show you quickly just so you guys can see. There's a nice mural here. If any, anybody wants to tell me that this is a, an official original bank scene, it's worth two million, please do, because I could do with the cash. Uh, and also equally this little horse here. If anybody knows. Two million, three million, you know, I'm taking reasonable offers. I'll cut the wall out for you. I'll deliver it for two, not for one. You know, I've got to be careful. These chandeliers are still in here though. Um, but what I wanted to show you guys for the studio is that now the carpet is in. And as far as I'm concerned, it's lovely. It's kind of that sort of speckly. Uh, I'll just quickly zoom in here and show you. It's like a um, nice kind of speckly sort of they call it twin twist, so it's like different colours in one. Um, and hopefully it comes over on camera that it's a bit sort of... It's a bit sort of grey, it's a bit sort of blue as well. It's in every room because it's the cheapest way of doing it. We've got plenty of excess. So, you know, a couple of grand. Anybody want some, some official calf cast carpet? The calf carpet? <laughs> you can, you know, a couple of grand, that's fine. That one there. Do it for two, that's all right, two grand, there you go. But here we are, this is the studio, um, and I can't really show you guys, the walls are a lot drier already, which is very exciting. I can't really show you, um, but what I can say is that the sound insulation layer, hopefully you can already hear how much better the sound is in here. The sound insulation layer is in, the underlay is in, the carpet is in, and it feels great. <sighs> So nice to uh, to have the carpet actually in, and it's very soft and very nice. Uh, we also have a bit more plastering to do in this room. Uh, there's some stuff we need to do in the windows, but apart from that, this room's pretty much done. And the light switch needs to be changed. Well, the light fitting needs to be changed, but I can do that. That's fine. So, stage one, getting the carpets in and the plastering done is. Done. There you go. That's probably the title of this video. Plastering and carpets, or carpets and plastering. So, foreshadowing. There you go. Um, we've also kind of spent some time changing the plug sockets. I haven't done all of them yet, but one's been done. I'll show you what it looks like. It's really... I mean, it's cutting edge stuff, guys. It's actually... It is actually pretty cool. We have um, these dual gang sockets, which have three USB sockets on them, and they're quick charge. Can you see? Can you focus for me, please? There you go. 3.1 amp, quick charging, five volt sockets. So those are going in everywhere. Um, and we also have the positive ventilation system that I told you guys about. That thing here is uh, the, ex the exhaust for um, positive air ventilation, which basically, I can feel it. I can stand up, I can actually feel it. Um, what it's doing, I'll turn this way for good lighting. There you go. I'm so sweaty. Oh my god. Um, it's pushing air in from the loft and pushing it around the house so that the house stays kind of not condensation-y and, and stays kind of dry, which is super nice. So that's really exciting. Um, do you like my bathroom? It's nice. It's really nice. But anyway, there you go. Studio day one done. We have a blank canvas to start working with. The next thing you guys are probably going to see is 
moving in day when I start to do bits and pieces all the radiators are off obviously as you can see here they wanted to get put back on at some point but we're going to wait until we paint before they go on um, but we're going to go and get the uh, shelving units from Hannah who's very kindly donated three Kallax uh, that are going to go run along that wall there and then we'll get the desks in and I'll show you guys kind of what everything looks like oh, and also Virgin Media should be going into this corner here hopefully because that means that we'll basically have a solid wired uh, connection which I think we definitely need at this point because the uh, the wireless is good but it's not great so I want to try to make sure that the internet is a lot more reliable and a lot more solid so that's the plan with that so thank you everybody for joining us and watching uh, the setup is is done um, the windows are all closed for security because I just want to make sure that my house my lovely calf castle is very safe there you go all right it's time to go guys oh yeah did you see this I shared this on, on Instagram this is all the stuff that's been put on the walls from the previous owners and look this is uh, mum was here dad was here Anthony was here it's pretty nice a little heart as well and Pat Pat age 13 doing that there. Thanks Pat, it's lovely. Oh, there you go guys. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope that these studio vlogs are kind of interesting. Um, I don't really need to tell you guys about the carpet costs, but in terms of studio costs so far, uh, eight quid for the USB plug socket that's going in there, and as uh, a dual socket, and uh, 50 pounds for the sound insulation that I've bought so far. So not bad, studio costs 58 pounds, fantastic. Uh, there's more, pro well, to be fair, that doesn't include plastering, which is a bit more expensive. But hopefully if you're doing a studio at home, you don't need to do plastering, your room's already nice, or nice enough, hopefully, fingers crossed. But anyway, stage one complete. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying these vlogs. Please do let me know what you think in the, down below in the comments. If you have any suggestions of things that you'd like to see in these vlogs, any extra information you'd like, please do let me know. Um, I've got my phone so I can do live Q&A on these recording sessions. So yeah, if there's anything cool that you'd like to see, just uh, let me know down below. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell because without that, I'm gonna struggle to make videos. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you all next time. Thanks guys. Bye bye. You've been watching the Gafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.